let's go through the paragraph box in your home tab the first one is bullets and numbering what we can do here is you highlight your text you can choose any type of bullets that you want and it will show in the live preview what they can look like pick that the next one is numbering same thing highlight your text and you can choose what numbers you'd like multi-level again same thing the difference with multi-leveling though is it creates the outline as you type it in where I didn't use that in the beginning it will be added on the next one is indenting it takes any of your text and moves it across I'm in columns right now so I have two columns set up so that's why it only goes to a certain point halfway into the page but this is increasing and decreasing the indents now sorting let me take out my let me take out my bullets and then I'll show you how to sort sorting highlights your text when you click on the A to Z with the arrow going down you have a choice sorting the text that you have in the paragraph section by ascending or descending ascending We'll do it alphabetical from A to Z. Descending, we'll do it alphabetical from Z to A. Paragraph marks. Paragraph marks basically allow you to get right down to the nitty gritty to see how many spaces you have, how many enters you have, how many tabs you have. That way you can line up your document much easier to make sure that everything is straight. Speaking of alignment, there are a couple ways you can align text. Here is aligning text to the left, to the center, to the right, and justifying. I'll show you each one. This is obviously the left. Here's the center. Nice, neat, professional appearance. Here's aligning to the right of your page. Again, I'm in columns, so it only is going to do half of the page. Justify might look a little bit different. Let me show you what Justify would look like. This is what Justify will look and do for your text. It's going to add some spaces to kind of clean it up. Watch. See that? Makes it look a little bit nicer, takes up more of the whole page, and it looks a lot cleaner. The next one is line spacing. You can choose different types of spacing for your text. Two and a half, one, whichever your need is. Over here, you can choose your theme color to do a fill, like so. And lastly, you can choose to put a type of border around your text. This isn't a page border. It's different. This is just border around the text that's written. You could just do bottom border. You could just do left or right. You could do all border. And you could do inside horizontal borders, which are kind of cool. As always, the 2003 version is available with the down arrow key.